This is what happens to your hair when you rinse it with apple cider vinegar. Pretty good, huh? This video is going to show you the proper steps that you need to follow when you rinse your hair with apple cider vinegar for the purpose of reducing freeze on your hair. So what apple cider vinegar basically does is to balance the pH levels of your hair and scalp back to its normal acidic levels. In acidic hair, it looks shiny and healthy. The cuticle of the hair, as you can see, is closed. On the other picture, alkaline hair looks dry, brittle, and frizzy because the hair cuticle is opened. So this is why you're gonna use this apple cider rinse so that your hair becomes more acidic than alkaline. Oh, don't forget to share some love to this girl by liking this video. Let's get started. Let's begin with step uno, which is making the apple cider vinegar rinse. So my apple cider rinse is made with rosemary. All you're gonna do is to infuse for 20 minutes one tablespoon of rosemary leaves into two cups of water. When this infusion gets cold, you're going to add four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Wait, you cannot use any apple cider vinegar. You know that, right? <laughs> okay, let me explain you real quick. The apple cider vinegar that you use for this hair rinse has to be raw, unfiltered, and it must contain the mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that brown dust at the bottom is the mother. Stop it. Which is full with natural proteins, enzymes, and healthy bacteria. Before you add this to our mixture, shake the apple cider so that all the components mix together. All right, and now you can add the four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to the mixture, and this is how your hair rinse should look like. One hour later. Let's move on to step dos, which is applying this fresh made apple cider rinse in your hair. First step is gonna be. I know. Yes, you're gonna start detangling your hair from the bottom to the top using a white tooth comb. White tooth combs prevent breakage and make this detangle process much gentle on your hair. Now that your hair has been completely detangled, get ready to shower. The right way to apply an apple cider vinegar rinse on your hair is by applying it after you shampoo and condition your hair. It is important that before you use this rinse, your hair is completely clean and hydrated so that when you seal the cuticle, all that conditioning remains in your hair. A few moments later. Right after you're done with shampooing and conditioning, you're going to drain as much as water out of your hair so that when you put Put this rinse on your hair, it stays acidic as possible and also doing this will make sure that your hair is more prone to absorb this rinse faster. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is to soak the ends of your hair in this rinse for 15 seconds maximum. This ensures that this part of your hair gets treated too, especially if you have medium to long hair. Sometimes it is hard to get this rinse all the way down. When time is up, please gently squeeze your hair inside of the container so that you can reuse this vinegar rinse on other parts of your hair, such as the scalp. Now, with your hair split in two sections, you're gonna start pouring a small amount of the apple cider rinse on one side of your scalp first. Then move on to the other side of your hair until you make sure that your whole hair and scalp has been completely covered in this rinse. Once you're done, gently drain most of the vinegar rinse from your hair and that's it. The right way to do this hair rinse is by not rinsing it off. Basically, the rinse has to stay in your hair. By the way, when I was done with the application, I washed my body throughout me with water and soap so that I didn't have a vinegar smell in my body, only on my hair. Five minutes later. Next step is the drying process, which is super important because it's going to ensure that you get more shine and less frizz on your hair at the end. So here's what you have to do. All I'm doing right now is to squeeze most of the water out of my hair so that the air drying process it is a little bit faster by the way hair feels so soft just try to be super gentle to your hair when you do this kind of motion i do have the apple cider vinegar rinse in my hair <laughs> and smells yes definitely the smell is way more pleasant and i like it more than onions 
for real. So I'm gonna continue doing the same motion until I see that my hair gets like quite damp. One hour later. Now that my hair is damp, as you guys can see, I am going to put my hair in a protective style. You can choose whatever protective style that it works the best on your hair. Please make sure to use a white tooth comb and be very, very gentle on your hair when you do this. I'm also gonna apply my serum. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is my protective hairstyle. Very pretty. <gasps> I don't know what's going on right there, but no, no. From there, you're just gonna let your hair to dry completely in the protective hair style so that this can actually work to reduce the frizz on your hair. Six and a half hours later. Now that my hair is completely dry, here are my results. This apple cider rinse not only clean my scalp from dandruff and buildup without stripping my hair, you can also see that my hair looks extremely shiny, it's super soft, and it doesn't smell like apple cider at all. Even this apple cider rinse removed the strong smell that I I still have from the onion juice treatment so yay and as you can see there is no frizz on my hair right now so remember, overdoing these apple cider vinegar rinse will cause more damage than actually fixing your hair problem. Making your hair super, super acidic is not good either. It could actually damage your hair. Please only use it one or two times a month. It's the right amount to detox your hair and also to balance the pH levels of your scalp and hair back to its normal acidic levels. Don't forget to share some love to this girl by subscribing to this channel right here. I love you all. I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Pura vida.